Yes. Ready. Yes. Yes. Yes.
die under here. Please. Please help. I can't get out. Three, two, one.
Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Translation. <laughs> Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief, as am I, but his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. <laughs> Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Yes? Ki muli ra kun kin Baba Hassan Shah Chiwi Aita Katong Chicha Chiwa Aita Kan Kicha Na Jupur Chiwi Aita Katong Chicha Agi Ki Muli Ra Kun King Baba Hassan Shah Kakin Chan Baba Hassan Shan 
Kakin John. Greetings again from the offices of. I see that, but do you have the all important chief? Then I'll take those off your hands. I see that. Then I'll take those off your hands. Farewell. Zer Oh, good hunt. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Translation. <laughs> if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep. 
That would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. You there. I'm, uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't true, is it? Oh, well, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know? I, I always meant to go back to Taurus's just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. Y you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? That's all you have to say to me after all these years, after deserting me on Terrace? Well, that and, uh, could you please get me out of here? You got a tough-looking friend there. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What, is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank you, and, um... You look like you're doing well. Uh, financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go well. Sis was always a little too fiery for her own good. She'll cool down in time. Uh, she'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Huh. I, uh, guess you've been talking to Lena, too. That's okay. I'll figure out a way to get by without your credits. I always do. Besides, uh, I've already got a job lined up for me. Greta, the manager over at the Zerka supply shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me in Greta's shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm.
Yes? Yes. 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 
can I do? Can I help? Can I suggest? <laughs> Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corp. I see that, but do you have the all- Then I'll take those off your hand. I see that. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll- I think I'll give you a bonus for this. You've more than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. I'm sure. Zerka Corporation thanks you again. person I was hoping to see. Mission didn't come with you, I see. Oh, guess she's still mad at me. Oh well, it, it's probably for the best. Uh, this job is more up your alley anyway. As you may know, tac glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. 
I know this guy. He's with the Exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Torizian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's gonna break my legs. Or worse. Come on! I'm Mission's brother. I'm her family. I mean, think what she'll do if you just let the exchange kill me. Besides, this is a sweet deal. You bring me a single tack land, and you not only save my life, but you get a piece of this great business opportunity. I mean, you can't pass this up. Think about it, and you'll see I'm right. Kiwi Aita Kachong Chi Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. You have fulfilled your end of the bargain. I will, of course, continue to give... Farewell. So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcars to subdue me. Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold top from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet calf hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. Oh, good hunting.
Yeah. Oh, good hunting. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. ちこんいたはロンダディホトンガクンハンガビ。ちどばどわなにディボボ。ロンダディホトンモチャシャパカ。キエノノダマ。
I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in.
Ajuta! Unga con pistol mi ajuta! Unga con pistol! Je te vado a un nidi bobo! Don't na boom! Tune pudo! Run no prata! Don't go shir! Dieta. What are you doing about the one in the bobo? Runda di rotonga con hanka di. Mucho shot pa hat. Anybody else get the feeling that finding this star map in the back of this crate Dragon's cave is more than just a coincidence? The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The crate Dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power. Now that we've got what we came for, we should probably move on. Can't say I'm going to miss this pit. To give you credit, you've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Kalo Nord in the end. I see you brought some backup, Kalo. Realized we were a bit too much to handle on your own, huh? You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Let's go, boys. It's showtime.
How can I help? I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. Did I? I'm trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times.
I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. That's kind of you to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I... maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Greetings again from the off. Farewell. Ki muli ra kun ki. Kakin. You're back. I knew you'd come through for me. I knew I could count on you. Uh. Change your mind. No, you can't. Do you know what this guy from the exchange will do to me if I don't come through? Come on, you have to help me here. You bring me a single tech land, and you not only save my life, but you get a piece of this great business opportunity. I mean, you can't pass this up. Think about it, and you'll see I'm right. Hey there, what can I do for you? I'm worried about Griff and his latest plan. I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Teresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Hey there, what can I do? Maybe if we get these... T hey there, what can I do for you? Maybe if we get... Hey there, what can... Okay.
Chua Penki Ki Muli Kaki Ki Muli
How can I help? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask if you'll permit it. In our time together I've been watching you. You are a true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order despite the lore of the dark side. And with so little training, for me it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? That's a relief to hear. I have never found the Jedi path an easy one to walk. And it's good to know I'm not alone. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all this power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path to the dark side. Yes, of course, you're right. I, I have to remember my training. The Masters know well the corrupting influence of the dark side. Although it is hard for me to imagine. The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please, forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. How can I help? Then I said... Yes, what's on your mind? Well, I, uh, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the battle over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these 
These star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just I, I feel a bit useless. I, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. It doesn't, I know. It's, it's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. And I suggest we move. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Of course. Hello again. Valued. You hurt me, madam. Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man... I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was all... Yes, very sad that they would abandon you. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. An honest man and a good mechanic. Seems like you got a favorable trade, sir. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> As I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I... See you soon, I hope. Thank you. 